Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabelt.com coming to you live from a cold Menasha, Wisconsin. Cold and snowy. Good grief, it's 31 degrees here. We got a whole bunch of snow this morning. It is a beautiful winter wonderland. Oh my gosh. <sighs> How's everybody doing tonight? I had to kind of do this to make sure that I didn't have any chocolate covered peanuts in my teeth. I'm not lying. <laughs> How are you guys? I see Bonnie and Jean coming in here. I had a bunch of people waiting. Hang on, I'm going to skip my ad here. See everybody coming in. We've got Texas and Hawaii and New Jersey and Michigan, North Dakota, New Hampshire, St. Paul, Minnesota. Hello, everybody. Thanks, everybody who is waiting for me to get on here. I was just checking out the posts on Facebook because who is in Green Bay tonight? Taylor Swift. No, I don't give two hoots about Taylor Swift. I'm not going to lie. But my granddaughter, Andy, is like Taylor Swift's number one fan, like huge fan. She is probably Peter Pan's. I got pictures that Anna sent, that Andy sent her, of um, her and her dad at the game. Lots of pictures there. And then a picture of Taylor Swift walking down the hallway in the tunnels. And, I, and I've been waiting to hear from Anna to see if Andy took that picture. Because I know that if Andy took that picture, she peed her pants. <laughs> she was that close. So fingers crossed, that will be the biggest event of the year for that kid. I'm not even kidding you. I'm, and like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan, but I'm so excited for her. I know she's just dying because Taylor Swift is at the stadium. She is at Lambeau Field tonight. Uh, the Packers are playing the Kansas City Chiefs. That game starts at 7.20. I am in direct competition with the Packers tonight, but... Got my Packers earrings on. I'm wearing my Packers shirt. I'm showing my support and I have it recording. <laughs> so Audrey said her daughter went to see Taylor in the Twin Cities. So did Andy. She got to go to the Taylor Swift concert. So yeah, it was really super exciting. And um, I know Deb says she's so excited for Andy. Me too. Like, I know she's just dying right now. Like, this is the biggest deal for her. And uh, I'm super excited for her. Yeah. So it's like, for Andy, it's kind of like me going to Stampin' Up! events and getting to see Shelly or Sarah. Like, it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> That's how we are. Elaine says, go Pack, go. I've got a lot of Chiefs fans in the house, and I have to tell you a little something. Most of you guys know that um, I kind of grew up south of Kansas City, Missouri, and my dad actually helped build the Kansas City Chiefs Stadium, so it's kind of cool, right? Yeah. So anyways, I like the Chiefs too. I have some relatives in Kansas that are huge um, Chiefs fans, so... Go Chiefs, go Pack. Um, if I'm being real with you, and don't hate me, Packer fans, but the Chiefs are probably going to kill them. <laughs> I don't know. But the Packers haven't been doing that good this year. I hope I didn't just jinx anything, right? <laughs> no hate mail. It is what it is. <laughs> We've got Kathy from Marshfield, Wisconsin. Joanne is coming in from Muncie, Indiana. Thank you guys so much for the like and share. I really appreciate that. If you're just getting on, if you could hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Um, also, there's some place where you can share my video. And um, sharing is caring. It's like showing a virtual, showing the virtual love. And I, I sure appreciate it. When you like and share my videos, it helps me grow my business. And um, it's one of the big things. One of the big things. So there's been a lot going on the last week since I saw you guys last Sunday. Um, oh, no. Trudy is in New Mexico in COVID isolation. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's been going around. We also have a stomach bug that is going around and um, I picked Val up from school on Friday and I was so, 
so sad for her. But also, it was kind of a different experience for me when I got there to pick her up because she usually comes flying out that door. She's going 100 miles an hour. She, like, hits me like a ton of bricks. Like, I have to brace myself because she's going to knock me right over. Granny, granny! And she just barrels into me and gives me the biggest hug. I did not get that on Friday. I got a little chat with her teacher, and at first I'm like, oh, no, what did she do? Like, she was sick all day. She said she laid around when it was time to go out for recess. She just laid down in the hallway, didn't want to go, so she didn't. Then she slept for two hours at school, and she had a headache and a stomach ache. So, oh, yeah, Eileen says, Patrick, um, how do you say his name? Holmes is nice arm candy. Not going to lie. I'm married, but I am not dead, people. Yeah. So anyways, Val was sick and um, I brought her home and she was not herself at all. She was just, she was all done. Poor baby. She's been sick all, all weekend and um, it's a real bad headache, stomach ache. Well then, Luann, why didn't they send her home? I'm not really sure. I didn't ask and um, I don't know. I have no idea. But Maybe it's because when she came down with it, it was it was lunch. It was like right before lunchtime, and her teacher said she ate all her lunch. Yeah, Kels isn't bad either. Judy says so. She ate all her lunch, and then it's it's um, rest time or nap time. Some kids fall asleep, come some kids don't, and she fell asleep and slept for two hours. And then I'm sure like it's a half an hour before it's time to go home. You know. So I don't really know all the details. I didn't ask, but yeah, she was sick all weekend. Then her mom got sick. Haley was actually throwing up. So, um, and Val was crying because that makes her upset. She really doesn't like that. <laughs> but Val didn't. She didn't throw up, but Haley was. So yeah, we've got a stomach bug going around, around here and I hope I don't get it. But um, I did go over and spend Saturday night with them. And I tend to do that. I don't care if anybody's sick. They need me. I'm there. And this week, um, Brooke, my assistant, who is also daycare for Haley's kids, is, um, <laughs> Eileen says, Kelly, I'm married too, but I do like to look and dream. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, Brooke is on vacation. Yay, Brooke. And she's been snapping me pictures. I told her I will never get sick of her vacation pictures. I love to go on vacation with people, like virtually. And um, so I hope she sends me lots of pictures. But I've got Dawson pretty much all week. I usually have him on Wednesday afternoons. So I won't have him Wednesday morning. He'll go to the great grandparents. And then I think Jared's parents are going to take him a day or so. But other than that, He's my boy. So um, he climbed up on me. He was all in good spirits when I went over there last night. And and um, he was all granny, 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 granny. And then sometimes he calls me Kelly. <laughs> and then he gives me a look like, i supposed to do that? He's Mr. Chat, chat, chat. It's just stinking adorable. And um, at the end of the night, he said, granny, milky. His dad went and got a, a glass of milk. And he climbed right up in my lap and went to sleep. So... Um, and Val really wouldn't have anything to do with me when I went over there, which is super unusual. Like she didn't come to me. She went and sat with her dad or her mom, but, um, she was sleeping later. She was sleeping. And then when she woke up, she came out of the bedroom and climbed up in my lap. So yeah, I felt so, she knows she feels terrible when she doesn't want to snuggle with me. Yeah. Good indicator. Anyways, um, we got a ton of snow today. Steve was home to do the shoveling, so that was really nice. I did not have to do that. Um, I got out a few Christmas decorations yesterday and hung them up on the walls. Um, I took down some of my fall stuff. Steve brought the rest of the fall stuff in from our front porch, and he actually put it in the box and put it in the basement. Oh, I know. I was like, whoa, that is awesome. So now I need to get um, decorations up for Christmas. He went and bought some Christmas lights because all of our Christmas lights burned. They were all in the garage, so those are dead. And so he went and got some new Christmas lights. And um, yeah, I'm excited to hang them up. I really wish I would have done it yesterday before it snowed, but 
you know, whatever. I really don't have any John report. I haven't seen John at all, like not at all. And, um, but we do have a Chippy report. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you know that Chippy is the elf on a shelf that is doing a bunch of shenanigans at Val and Dawson's house. So <laughs> I've been sharing pictures on my Facebook page every day of Chippy's new little thing. And today it was a staring contest. So I'm just, I'm so excited to see what else they come up with. And Val and Dawson, Val's been sick the last couple days, so she hasn't really cared about Chippy. But um, I'm sure she'll get into it as she's feeling better. Poor baby, right? It's like, ugh. And somebody asked, is Chef Steve cooking? Where did my comments go? They just disappeared. Oh, here they come. Um, yes, as a matter of fact, Steve made, he got his deer cut up because um, he got a buck deer hunting. He got that cut up and he made venison and he put onions and mushrooms in it and he simmered it for a long time to get it nice and tender. Then he put some cream of mushroom soup in it and I'm not sure what else, um, but it was too liquidy. So he said, yeah, it's not that good. And I'm like, well, I took some out and heated it up. It's really quite good. I love venison. I grew up on it. That's what like kept us nourished <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of money. So we, um, hamburger was a real luxury for us. And I'm talking like hamburger. We didn't have anything else. <laughs> but we had venison. And every once in a while, my mom would buy some hamburger. But um. So I took the juice that was in the venison because it never, it was just too runny. And um, I made some gravy. I made some flour in my little shaker deal with some water and I got it thickened up and put it over it. And oh, we put it over noodles. It's so good. So I fixed that. And um, then of course he wants to know, how did you do that? Does it taste good now? Yeah, it's delicious. And just like you make gravy, just like you make gravy. Oh, now my messages are getting all jumbled up, which is really weird. I don't know why that happens. Hang on. Oh, I got lots of them. All right, I'm caught up here. And, oh, a message was held for review. Oh, I wonder what you guys said. <laughs> That's funny. So um, I ate really good before I came on. Oh, my gosh, Dawn has an elf on the shelf of over 50 years. That's awesome. She had to sew his leg back on a few times. Good for you. <laughs> That's really fun. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about Andy, she came over this week and she is student of the month at her school. Audrey said the problem was her. What did you say, Audrey? <laughs> Curious minds want to know. What is the buzzword that YouTube is um, holding for review? I peed your pants. Oh, look it. <laughs> I I just let your um, message come in. It was about peeing your pants, which we already talked about, right? Um, anyways, Andy came over and she's student of the week. No, no, I got that wrong. Student of the month. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. How many kids are in your class? She goes, it's not for her class. It's for the whole school. There are over a thousand kids at our high school. She is student of the month. And I said, well, how did you get that? And she said, she has a high GPA. She's super smart. She is a leader. She has leadership skills. She has all hard AP classes. And yeah, that is so awesome. And so tonight, she's going to be at the Packer game till midnight on a school night, but she'll be fine because she's an exceptional student. I know, right, Joe? It's so exciting. So I just had to brag a little bit. She gets to make a showcase at school with all her favorite things in it. So she's going to put a Taylor Swift album cover and her dance shoes in there. And um, she's a huge Bears fan. She's not really a Packer fan. <laughs> She's only there because Taylor Swift had a possibility of being there tonight. Um, and so she'll put some of her Bears um, memorabilia that she has in there. And I don't know what else. But I'm going to make her take a picture so I can see it, right? But yeah, it was pretty exciting. 
Uh, Molly has her last cheer coming up two times this next week. This week now, it's Sunday. This week, she's going to have cheer. Um, there's a couple basketball games, so I'm definitely going to those. One of them is tomorrow night, so I'm excited about that. Hoping Valerie feels better because I'll try to take her and maybe Dawson. We'll see. He loves sports. Like, he will be just glued to sports. So that's really cool. And um, <laughs> Bear's not a cheese head, Deb says. <laughs> that's funny. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I have some mail to share with you guys. Um, I have a new online class to talk to you about. The project that we're making tonight, we have a few projects, are going to be super fun. So I'm excited about that. And um, what else? Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Share this video. That's always awesome. And I think I'm ready to... Oh, prizes. Don't forget the prizes, Kelly. So there are three ways that you can win prizes when you watch me. The first way is to leave a comment. So if you're new to me, just leave a comment. You can just say hello, whatever. Leave a comment, whether it's on, on this YouTube while we're live, whether it's um, after the fact, after we're done being live, if you're watching the replay. Um, what did she say? Oh, Mary said that Taylor Swift will be at the Chiefs game till the end of the year. Yeah, she just finished her last concert in Brazil. She was in Brazil, like, I think last week, and now she's in Green Bay. So pretty exciting for Taylor Swift fans. So commenting, I have these beautiful festive pearls. Aren't they gorgeous? There's red ones. Whoops, red ones up here. Oh, did you guys see my new fingernails? Can you see them? That is a gnome. That little guy right there, gnome. Yeah, pretty cute, right? <laughs> so I'm a little disappointed with my... um nail place because this is the second time look at my nail is broken and I didn't hardly do anything to it I'll tell you guys what I did hang on let me see if I can find one of these new pens that I just got probably not but anyways I bought new pens I love this color so I bought new pens and it had a little like price tag on it and so I took this finger and I went like that and it wasn't hard I didn't like kill my nail and I tried to peel the edge up and that happened right there. Can you see it? Yeah. And so that leads me to believe that they're making the ends of my nails too thin. I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna talk to them about that because it happened on the first day that I got them done. Not like I've had them for a couple weeks and now they're getting kind of crummy. And the last time I got my nails done, it happened on the first day, I, I just broke one. Now, I was packing to go hunting so you know that's a little more uh, but this like that's leads me to believe anyways squirrel cute nails right <laughs> let's get back to these so for commenting old acrylic powder good to know Mary Lynn see I knew you guys would know they're not dips they're acrylic um I'm reading messages. Sorry, I lost my train of thought because apparently Mary Lynn has a hilarious cat. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> For leaving a comment on my last video. Uh, Jan, someplace on your screen when you touch it, there should be a share button where you can share it. And if you can't find it while we're live, as soon as I'm done being live, you should be able to find it underneath the video someplace. Thank you so much for asking. I'm glad you asked. These are going out to Rhonda Chase. Rhonda, I'm going to say where you're from. Chihuahua, Washington. That's a big word. <laughs> Chihuahua, Washington. Rhonda, you are going to have these on, on their way to you. You're going to get some happy mail this week. Thank you so much for commenting on my video. So, Everybody gets entered to win. Rhonda has some beautiful pearls ready to go in the mail. Next up, for sharing this video, you also get, okay, good to know. Tracy says better top coat maybe. That's good to know. Um, you also get entered in a drawing when you share. And I happen to have the real red and garden green ribbon. This is perfect for this time of year, right? Ah. Um. 
Jan wants to know, I know where the share button is, but what happens when I hit it? It's going to ask you where you want to share it to, and it's going to give you options. And Facebook is probably the best option. So go ahead and hit that. For sharing my last video, I have, hang on, where'd my note go? Oh, I put it over here with Rhonda's envelope. Hang on. I'm going to keep that here. I know what's going on. I have Kathy Schmidt, Park Falls, Wisconsin. That's where we go bear hunting. So, Kathy Schmidt, you have some beautiful ribbon on its way to you. And last but not least, everybody who orders from me between last week's Sunday and tonight gets entered in a drawing to win. I have the Distressed Tile 3D Embossing Folder. And I know that the winner of this is on here tonight because I just saw your name go through a little bit ago. Isabel Lopez, this is going to be on its way to you this week. This is a gorgeous embossing folder. You are going to love it. Isabel, thank you so much for your order. Thank you guys for the shares and the comments. Everybody, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you doing these little things to help give me a boost. I appreciate it. Okay, I have mail to share tonight. I have some beautiful, well, they're all beautiful cards to share with you. So that's going to be exciting. And, oh, thank you. Who said that? Honeybee. Honeybee Stamping Hive. It says, Jan, sharing the videos helps Kelly reach more viewers. It's a great way to support her business for free. Bless your heart. Thank you so much. And that is exactly true. That is how it helps me. So, hi, Janet Kay, who, uh, is glad she caught me. I'm glad you caught me too. All right, I think we're ready to turn this around. I don't have anything else that needs to be shown this way. We need to get down to business, right? I think so. So let's do that. I'm gonna change my glasses right away before I forget. It kind of gives me a headache if I forget to do that. And not gonna lie, chocolate covered peanuts. Remember, so you bought this whole thing for me. <laughs> well, that's what's left. I know. Oh, I gotta plug my phone in too. Mm. Sally's getting ready to watch the Packers. Sally, you need to have two devices on. You can watch the Packers and mute them. You can watch me and have some real fun. No, just kidding. You do what you need to do. Here we go. All right, get ready. Whoops, hope I don't hit anything wrong. Yeah, that goes with the diet. I'm not dieting. <laughs> I will be, though, because we are going to Mexico at the end of mm, April, I think. Oh, hang on. I think my, no, my thing isn't falling down. We're going to Mexico. And, yeah, it will be time to lose the winter fluff, as I like to call it. Okay, you guys. This is my blog. This is my website. You can find all the projects that I make, anything I talk about, you can find on my blog. And all you have to do is go into a new window, Google www.astampabove.com, and you will find me. This is my new host code for December. Happy December, everybody. Um, when you place an order under $150, if you could please use this code, this really helps me out. This is how I get the free things that I give away by using that. But if your order is over $150, please don't use this code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. And I see Jan was just asking. She shared it to Facebook. Now what? That's it. You just click share on Facebook. It'll go through your um, profile. And you're sharing the video so that other people who are your friends or who follow you might see that video and be interested and want to watch. That's all there is to it. Super easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm just going to set this over here. I got I made a new thing. You guys notice I'm using Berry Burst this time. <laughs> Maybe you didn't notice. It was um, kind of cool. But um, I'm just going to set that off to the side. If you need to see it, let me know. Did I get all my candy corn eaten? I gave some of my candy corn to the kids because they love it too. And I have I have this left, which I have broken into. And I have one of these candy corn crunch left that I've also broken into. So don't you worry. I've got plenty of sugar things happening here in Menasha, Wisconsin. 
Okay, first of all, I wanted to share this with you. This is my heartfelt hexagon class. And these are all made and ready to go. So when somebody orders them, they'll go out in the mail right away. Most of my classes are a pre-order. So when you order them, there's usually a date that I will be shipping them by. These are all done. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit what this is about so you can actually see it. With this particular kit, you get, there's enough cardstock in here and envelopes for eight cards. You get a pack of the iridescent rhinestones. You get a roll of the iridescent ribbon. You get a um, Wink of Stella glitter brush. You get an entire pack of the beautiful, delightful floral designer series paper. You guys have seen me use this. It's absolutely gorgeous. You get a PDF file with videos, written instructions, and dimensions for all the projects. There are four different designs in here. You make two of each card. This is what my kit looks like. Now, um, the kit uses the Heartfelt Hexagon bundle, which is a stamp set and a punch. If there are any additional elements that I use to create the cards that you get to make in here, like let's say a die cut or another punch, I die cut those and punch them and put them in with your pre-cut cardstock pack. I have a few of these left, so if anybody is interested in this, you're going to find my online classes right on my blog, and you're just going to look for this graphic. As you're scrolling down the main feed and you'll see a little thing next to it that says see more read more something like that so i'm going to pop up right here on my ipad this is my blog so when you type in www.astampabove.com this is where you're going to go and it'll ask you if you want to subscribe. If you put your name and email address in there, every time I add something to my website, it will pop you an email with that information in it. But as you can see, um, I have a brand new class that I'm going to talk a little bit about. Here's last week's Facebook or um, YouTube Live. Here's the carryover list. So we've got a retiring list, a last chance list, and a carryover list. When you click right here on see or read more, it's going to pop this open and you're going to come to all the links. So here you can click this and open that, click that and open it. It's got all the things in here. I've got some of my favorite items that are retiring in here. So, and then to get back to that page you were on, you just click on home right there. Let's try that. Okay, it went there. Um, here's my current host code. You can always find it in that right-hand column on my blog. And if you're looking for all of my online classes, if you'd like to join my team, you can find information under $99 kits. Here's all the information for my online technique club. And here's my online classes all in one place. Now I haven't put that, oh, I did put the heartfelt hexagon. I haven't put the um, best remedy in there yet. But here are the links you can register for these kits. It'll tell you if they're sold out or not. But here's all my kits. And this goes on and on and on and on. So if you perhaps have an old stamp set that's retired, you might find it in here like this particular one. I have a whole class with the Ready or Rhino Ready bundle. So lots and lots of good information. Again, I'm going to click right on Home. There we go, takes you right back here, but little snippet, click read more. Little snippet, click read more. Little snippet, click read more, okay? That's how that works. Now I'm gonna pull up my live again so I can see your comments. If anybody has any questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm always happy to help with that, but I just wanted to let you know what an online class looks like. All the cardstock is cut into layers here. Um, anything that you do with the designer paper, of course, that is intact. I tell you what size to cut it, or you're going to die cut something out of it that comes with the bundle or punch it. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty neat way to, um, take an online stamping class. Okay. Like I said, last chance list and the carryover list are available. You can print these out. They're in readable form. This one's pretty tiny. 
but if you look at it on your screen, you can go like this on your screen and blow it up so it's easier to read. This one prints really nice, so I like that. This is all the stuff that's retiring. Some of it is up to 60% off. You can see right here, we've got sale items. So that's pretty cool too. I also have this brand new class. We're gonna talk a little bit about this. We're gonna be making a card using this particular kit. So I think that I will wait until we do that and we'll go over that information. Um, Modern Garden is an online kit class that I just did. I have a couple of those left. It uses the Modern Garden bundle. And then you get all the stuff in here. And again, you can find that on my blog under online classes or keep scrolling down when you come to the bottom of that main feed page. There's going to be a place where you can find more or look for more or something like that. And it just keeps going and going and going. Also... We have brand new mini catalogs coming out. Celebration starts on January 4th. The new mini catalog starts on January 4th. If you are new to me and you would like to get your hands on these catalogs, you don't have another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Um, you can pop me an email at Kelly. K-E-L-L-Y at symbol a stamp above .com and send me your address and I would be happy to mail these to you. This is the catalog that is retiring. I can certainly send that to you too. There's tons and tons of fabulous card ideas in these catalogs. Like look at all of these. Lots of good ideas. And then we also have our annual catalog. So if you need one of these, make sure you let me know because this changes the whole shipping the way I ship it. This is a big catalog. It's heavier. I need to ship it in a different way. So if you need all catalogs, tell me that. If you only need the new ones, let me know that. I'd be happy to send them off in the mail. I don't know, but it's always nice seeing a real live copy of that. I like to curl up in my chair with my blanket and a cup of hot chocolate and just go through there and make my wish list. Lots of fun. Last but not least, we have Stamp Happy Academy. This is a subscription website where each month we add four new online classes, just like I showed you here with these online classes. These The PDFs are added to the Stamp Happy Academy website every month. Four new online classes every month and specials throughout the year that are included with a basic membership of $19.95 a month. Premium membership is $34.95 a month. It includes everything that BASIC has, plus three more live classes every single month. Right now, there's over 100 online class PDFs available for you when you join the Stamp Happy Academy. If anybody has any questions about that, let me know. I am going to bring in my piercing mat. This is a mat that I sell in my online store. Whoops. And I see that my tape wasn't long enough here. Let me show you how I do this. This is nothing more than printer weight paper. I wrap it around here and I pull it snug and tape it on with some tape. This is my stamping surface. Okay, I'm excited because this particular project that I'm going to make is really fun. We are going to be using the Merry and Bright bundle that comes with dies. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. You can order the bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies together for a 10% discount. Or you can just order the stamp set or maybe you just want the dies. But the bundle's 10% off. We have matching dies. That's how I should say that. <laughs> Joy to you stamp set. I love these big greetings. Like, I love big greetings. So we're going to be using that. Um, I have the Heartfelt Hexagon Punch, which is the punch for one of my online classes. So we're going to do that. Let me get out my cardstock here. Um, I've also got these iridescent adhesive backed discs. These are really fun and they're very shiny and blingy. I love them. Uh, where's my paper? Oh boy. Hang on, I set it, so oh, here it is, it's right here. I'm like, I knew I set it in place. We're gonna use the Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper. You guys have seen me use this, I've used it several times. Super fun Christmas patterns on one side, and then kind of neutral 
on the other side. You can use this for any kind of card, and then we have stars for Christmas. We've got Christmas trees, and then we have stripes. We have fa la 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 la, and then we have polka dots. We have Christmas lights, and then we have more polka dots. So lots of fun patterns in here. I love that Stampin' Up! does that with our holiday paper so that you can use it for so much more than just Christmas time, right? So we're gonna be using that. We're gonna use some tear and tape. I've got my Wink of Stella here. Here comes our ink pads for this project. We're gonna use Parakeet Party, Blueberry Bushel, Shaded Spruce, and Poppy Parade for our ink pads. And let me get, I got my stamps all mounted here, so those are ready to go. Now I gotta see what I'm doing. All right, so I have a team meeting coming up, you guys. Hang on, I like to put my dimensions up here so I look like I'm super organized and smart. <laughs> Not that I'm dumb and totally unorganized, but it just really helps. <laughs> and here comes some pieces. I got some layers that are gonna be part of the design for the project and then a couple scraps. Shaded spruce and basic white. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> oh my gosh, I just swallowed wrong. I hate that. That was so minor. Usually I'm gasping for air. I don't know if it's like my gag reflex. Hang on. <coughs> but usually when I swallow wrong, it sends me running for the bathroom, like literally. And it's so ridiculous. So now my voice is going to be just a little funny. And by the way, you guys remember last weekend when I kind of started losing my voice and said I didn't feel feel that great? <coughs> well, I got done with my live. I went downstairs. I vegged out in the living room for a little while and went to bed. I felt just fine the next day. So I don't know what that was all about. It was very strange. But I'm glad, right? That worked out good. Anyways, um, I was just looking at a question here. Oh, <laughs> Isabel's on here and she says, uh, thank you so much for the embossing folder. I love it. My husband was happy. <laughs> Yay, we like happy husbands. Okay. Um, Sue says she did not receive her catalog yet and she is a demonstrator. Sue. You have until the 21st of December, Stampin' Up! says. And if you still haven't received your catalog by the 21st, you can then contact Demonstrator Support and they will ship you out a new one right away. So just so you know, the 21st is the key date there. And, okay, we're ready to rock. Now, I have to tell you a little backstory here. So, I have a team meeting coming up on the 12th of December. Um, it is actually our Christmas party. So for our Christmas party, we're going to do some fun stuff. We're going to play bingo. There's going to be prizes. We have show and tell. Um, mystery stamping, a demonstration. One of our team members is going to demonstrate a, um, a sampler. And if you guys don't know what that is, oh, my glass is kind of dirty here, but don't judge me. Um, Jody made this for me several years ago, one of my team members for, for when I hit my million dollars in sales. So this is a little sampler. So we're going to have a demonstration of a sampler at our um, virtual Christmas party. Super exciting. But one of the other things that I wanted to do is have a guess how many are in the jar. So I went searching at the store <clears throat> to find something like M&M's or some type of candy or something like that that I could put in a jar, take a picture of it, send it out to my team in a newsletter and say, guess how many? And then whoever guesses closest to the correct number is going to win a prize, right? So this is what I found. These are cheddar cheese puffs. It is a giant jar of them, right? And so I didn't want to just take a picture of a boring old jar of cheese puffs. I have to decorate it. And I thought, this is just a great example of how you can pick things up at the store and make them 
fantastic with our paper crafts. So I am going to do the decorating of the jar with you guys tonight. Now, um, I have on my blog, right here at this link on my blog, after we get done with our live tonight, <coughs> hang on, I'm still choking. <laughs> um, after we get done with our live tonight, you're going to find pictures of everything that I make, all the dimensions there, and I also show you this jar of cheddar cheese puffs. I got this at the Dollar General. It was $7 and something. They also have it at Kroger. And um, so if you want to pick one up, you certainly can, but you can get anything like this and decorate it. And that's what I wanted to share with you tonight. So I'm going to decorate up this jar for our Christmas party for our team meeting. Then I thought this can do double duty because I'm just going to take a picture of it, right? And then I'm not going to mail this anyplace because <laughs> it's too big. Um, but then I can take it to our family Christmas that we're doing on the 31st with all my stepkids and their kids and extended girlfriends and all the things. I can take it there and do the same guessing game. And um, whoever is closest can win this jar. Or I can get another one and decorate that. And I can do the guessing game and give this as a prize. But I can also make another one. And we're going to make a matching card to go with this project tonight. And I can put a gift card into that card and give this and the matching card to one of the grandkids. So I thought, wow, I am going to hit three things here with this one. I'm going to have to make two projects, but with this one project idea. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right. Okay. So Michelle is asking, can we buy one and count them? Um, I would love to hear from you guys how many cheese balls you think is in this container. If you want to put that, if you want to put that in the comments right now, you guess your number of how many you think are in here. I actually don't know yet because when Molly comes over this week, I'm going to have her count them. So yes, she's going to touch every single one of them, but I will make sure she washes her hands first. <laughs> So then I can let you guys know next week how many you think are in here. We have Patty thinks it's 540 puff balls. So you guys let me know what you think. I think this will be fun. Okay, so what I did here, I took the Mary Bold and Bright 12 by 12 paper and, <clears throat> excuse me, I cut it at four and a quarter. And what I did is you can notice on this jar there's an indentation here where their label was. So I just measured from that indentation to this indentation. Now, if this had just been completely round with no indentation, it wouldn't matter how big this was, right? You can make it however big you want, but mine is four and a quarter by 12. And here's the deal. One 12 inch piece did not go all the way around. It started right here to right here. So I cut two of these wrapped it around and secured the seams with tear and tape because I didn't want this falling apart. And tear and tape will definitely not let it fall apart. So that's all I've done so far, okay? So then, ooh, look at your numbers. Very nice, you guys. I love it. Lots of numbers coming in. So then I figured out a label that I'm going to put on the jar to spruce it up, right? So I've got a piece of basic white here that is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And again, all of these dimensions, pictures, a picture of the jar without my decorations on it are going to be on my blog, but not until I'm done with this live and take my photos. And I've got a lot of it typed up, so it's probably going to take me maybe an hour after we're done tonight. And then you can go to my blog and you'll find these projects. Um, there's one other thing I was going to say. Oh, the link to my blog <clears throat> is in the description of this video. So when we're done, you can, well, right now, as I'm looking at my iPad, I can see that it says hashtag Kelly Atchison more. And when I click on that more, here comes all the information for this class tonight. I have the, um, the link here for this blog post. I have the link to register for my best remedy class, which we're going to do next, um, a project with that. 
And I have a link to those last chance and carryover lists right here in that more. So now I hope I don't mess this up. I just hit that X. Here's all your comments coming in again. And again, I clicked right here under the video. Whoa, <laughs> hang on. Right here under the video where it says more. And then this pops up and then I click on that more to get all the information. And here's all my contact information here, all my links to all my things. Okay, okay, we're back to business. All right, so I've got these layers here. I've also got my basic white and my um, shaded spruce. I'm gonna bring out my merry and bright dyes. <clears throat> okay, there's a lot of dyes in here, you guys. There are 16 different dyes that come with this set. So this is the set, this is the dies that make like the, the electrical cord or the string for the light bulbs. And as you can see, mine is kind of bowed like this. And I was gonna show this to you tonight. I'm not responsible for anything you do to your dies, but when mine gets bowed like that, you can see that it's, I just gently take it and bend it a little bit and then it's flat. Now, I have never broken one of these. I am not bending it hard. I'm just flattening it back out. So not responsible for you if you refine it and break it in half, but I've never had these break before. So don't try this at home. I'm just kidding. I just want you to be mindful and careful, but we're going to die cut this particular die on the shaded spruce scrap. The other thing that we need is these little um, light fixture ends. There are two exactly the same in this set of dies, and I love it when Stampin' Up! does this. We need three of these. So we're gonna run this through once, and then I'm gonna run through one more of these. And <clears throat> I'm gonna set this aside. All right, next. I am going to be using the stamp that is the, not the round bulb, but the rectangular pointy bulb. So there's also two of those. They're the same exact thing. So it's pretty nice because you don't have to keep running it through one at a time, right? So now we're going to stamp up all of our little elements here. Okay, first off, I am going to do, in this stamp set, you have all of these um, little blocks, rectangles of sentiments. And I love that because it stamps solid the color. So I'm gonna do three Marys. One, whoops, that didn't turn out very good. Let's do that again. One, two, Three. Okay, so I've got three Marys. Let me clean this off. I am going to take the Oh What Fun. I love this sentiment. Probably the most out of all of them. Oh What Fun. And on our three and a quarter by four and three quarter inch layer, this is going to be my sentiment on the bottom of it. And remember, this is going on the front of my cheese puff can. So that's what I've done there. I've got my chamois here. I love this thing for cleaning my stamps. It just always works so nice. <clears throat> it's super easy. For those of you that might not know, this is damp, and I just take this into my bathroom sink, which is right behind me here, and I run water on it and squeeze it out. Run water on it, squeeze it out until the water runs clear. Squeeze it the one last time, throw it in an empty stamp case, and this is how I store it. These also, it's called a Shammy, S-H-A-M-M-Y. They are in my online store. Okay, so I've got, I've got three. That one didn't turn out. So we need three of these. <clears throat> and then, still struggling from swallowing wrong. Isn't that just so ridiculous? Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have like a food or a big drink in my mouth. <laughs> I would have been, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do this light in the poppy parade then i'm going to do it in blueberry bushel oops i can see that it's not inked up all the way there we go 
Oh my gosh, I love that color. It's like so vibrant. And one more in Parakeet Party. And this again is just a scrap of white. And then we've got the little electrical element. That's what I'm calling it. And I'm using the same ink. I'm not stamping off at all. I'm just coming in and you can see it's just a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, I've also, oh, that'll be later. Never mind. <laughs> we'll take care of that later. Okay, the other thing that I want to do is get my dies out and little piece of washi tape. Let me see if I can find my washi tape here. I cleaned up my office. Well, I don't know if you can really call it cleaned up my office. Where's my, I've got temporary tape here. Cleaned up my office because Fred was coming to replace my windows, but he never got them done up here in my office. So I did it for nothing. <laughs> was kind of disturbing for me but anyways oh I forgot to give you guys the window update you know um, my windows broke when our garage burned down because of the heat and so our new windows are in downstairs but they don't fit so Fred had a call with the um, manufacturer oh here's my washi tape right here but the manufacturer and there's there's a manufacturer defect on the like little molding inside the windows and that's why they don't work right so fred is going to try to shave that off and fix them and what a crack of crap right like did i get a discount on those windows we'll see before this is over but nothing ever works right okay we're gonna die cut these three things and hang tight we're gonna also die cut three of these, three of these little ends for our bulbs and these little line deals. Hang on. And of course I have those done here just to save some time. This is what they look like. Oh, they're so fragile, right? Ooh. And here's our little ends for our bulbs and I am going to take my snips. I'm leaving a little bit of white around the outside of these. I just find that I like that look. And if you make a mistake, it gives you a little bit of a comfort zone, I guess is a good way to put it. So we're just gonna cut these with our snips. Super simple. Just like that. Do we have a score on the Packers yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna cut these all out so I can work with them. Let's see here. Did anything else happen this week as long as I'm just doing boring cutting here? I don't know, my mom's feeling better, so that's good. I had her looking into um, getting a filtration system put under her sink. She's got some water things going on. So we're waiting to hear back from a plumber on that. There we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, the garage. The one thing we're waiting for yet on the garage is the interior to be painted. The guy's coming on the 11th, so we're pretty excited. And the gutters are leaking between the roof and the gutter. So that's great. <laughs> it's not all rosy. <laughs> all right. I have those cut out. I'm going to put mini dimensionals on them. Because why wouldn't you? Ooh, I'm getting down there on this sheet. 7-3. Packers are up. 7-3. Wow. I might, I might have to eat my words. That I thought they were going to kind of get trounced. But <laughs> it's just the beginning, right? <laughs> okay, so I've got my dimensionals on the back of there. Um, we die cut all of these through the magic, right? 
And then this is where the Wink of Stella comes in. Now here's a little tip. That little white accent mark that's there, I encourage you to stay away from that because Wink of Stella makes your ink like it, it's on this on this brush now a little bit, and it'll take it'll it'll color that little um what did I call it um see tiny bit of blue in there accent it'll color that little accent blue instead of leaving it bright white and I found that out when I was making my sample so you always learn stuff when you make a head right you learn what to do and what not to do and then I'm going to just dab it off you can see there's a can you see that a little tiny bit of blue tiny bit of red on there dab it off and then we're going to go in here now this makes these lights look so pretty because they have that sparkle from the Wink of Stella on them and I know it's kind of like a little putsy thing but it's worth it there we go okay we're going to take these and we're going to use just a little dab of liquid glue highlight yes highlight filament yes well it's not the filament the filament is that little electrical thing but the highlight or the, yeah, the little highlight. That's what I was looking for, but it was close. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this on here. Just a little dab of glue will do ya. Little tiny dot. And on my first um, design that I made, I had one of these flipped upside down, one of these little things, and you can really tell, so pay attention. <laughs> pay attention, Kelly. It makes a difference. Oh, look at it's a hitchhiker. So I want to make sure these are right side up. Look at how cute they are. That one's a little crooked. There we go. Aren't these fun? Can you see the little glimmer on them? Uh, I gotta let them dry. I always move them too fast. Pretty pretty. Okay, so we've got that done. We've got these done. I'm gonna use this little end with the loop-de-loop-de -loop -de in it. You guys are getting all kinds of like interesting terms tonight. We're gonna to take this and now we're gonna put this together. So what I wanna do first is I wanna put these little Mary Marys in here. So I'm gonna start with my center one and I don't wanna put these straight across because the chances that I'm gonna get them straight are pretty slim. <laughs> so if you put them at an angle on purpose, then you don't have to, you know, be so hard on yourself. Like, oh, I can't get anything straight. Nope, don't need to. We're going to make them kind of go kitty wampus. There's your redneck term of the day. Just like that. Isn't that fun? Deliberate. All right, next, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to this is how I did this. This is this doesn't really fit. This little loopy thing doesn't really fit through there. So what I did is I kind of pushed it through right here on the loop. Okay, <laughs> watch this. And then I yanked it through there just like that. So now it's all bent, right? It's all bent. Like Kelly, what are you doing? Don't worry it flattens right back out and you'll never know it was all bent up. So that's how I did it. I just wanted you to know that. So now, before I do that, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of these lights too. I just have had so much fun with this bundle. So much fun. And I love Christmas lights. Oh, is that one really jacked up? Yeah, it's pretty crooked there. Oh, I straightened it out. <laughs> did I guys, did I tell you guys all these weird terms that I use? Steve <laughs> picked Valerie up from school one day and he got her home. He doesn't usually go by himself, right? So he's not that good with the car seats and all the straps and stuff. <laughs> he always goofs him up and she's heard me say that, but he gets home and he goes to get her out and... <laughs> And he's having a hard time with the straps. And she goes, Papa, you got these straps all jacked up again. <laughs> yep, right from me. Hang on, I got to get rid of that. 
was so funny. Papa, you got these strings all jacked up again. These straps are all jacked up again. He started laughing. Yep, Val. Okay, did I do this one? Nope, I gotta get the back off of that one. So I lined these up on here. Take the backs off. I know this seems like it might not be the right way to do it, but I found that it worked pretty good. And we're gonna put this in here. You're just gonna thread them on there. Okay, and then I'm gonna start with this one over here and I'm just placing, I'm not pushing them down hard. I'm just placing my lights so I can see if this is where I want them to go. I gotta kind of watch this string because I want things to happen with that too. And I don't want it to cover up my fun little words down here. And again, I don't want these to look perfect. I want them to be kind of all over the place because Christmas lights aren't perfect. And I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Now, what are we gonna do with this? Well, <laughs> here's what I thought of. Um, if you take and figure out where this little line is gonna go down in this layer, I'm gonna put a teeny weeny little dot of glue there and I'm gonna press it and hold it. And just on the end, that's all I did. Just like that. Did the same thing over here. Teeny weeny little speck of glue. Hold it down. Just like that. And then we're gonna snip this off. There we go. What? Okay, we're gonna put that on this layer. This is Poppy Parade, five by three and a half. Thank you, Audrey. I was just thinking of something. I'm wondering if I should have put this on with tear and tape, this white layer, because when we put it on to our jug, it is gonna round it a little bit, right? And I don't want anything falling apart. But I think that this jug will be here long enough that it, if it does come, you know, kind of pop up or whatever, I can pull the ends up and put some tear and tape on it. So here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna move all of these so I don't make a big mess here. And I am going to bring in my jug. <clears throat> And I'm going to put this right on here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that, right? Ah, I love it. I love doing stuff like this. Like, I love just decorating things that I pick up at the store. And, you know, it's the effort that goes into it. And yes, you know, the jug is probably not going to get saved. If they save the jug, they're going to pull all this off of here. But I don't care. It's super cute. Maybe they'll save it till next year and we'll do something again. You know, who knows? But I just love doing stuff like this. It's just paper. It's just my effort and time. It's not like it really costs anything. The designer paper, well, whoop de doodle We buy wrapping paper and wrap presents too, so, <laughs> right? Same thing. Okay, I'm going to pick this off. Oh, we got to put some embellishments on here, too. We're going to use those discs because those are super fun and they're very blingy. <gasps> Wendy said Green Bay is playing really well. That's exciting. Maybe they're trying to show off for Taylor Swift. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to get this centered on here. Try to get it straight. Hold this down a little bit to let that really sink in. Oh my goodness, you guys. Isn't this stinking adorable? I knew it was going to be cute. I didn't know how cute it was going to be. And then I'm going to pull out... Where did my take your pick? Right here. I'm going to pull out some of these red discs. And we're going to just drop these into place.
Voila. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I love it. Okay, now, I had to make up, oops, hang on. I had to make up this, this card right here so I would know what I was doing, right? So I wasn't fumbling around because I hate that. I do it every once in a while where I just create on the fly, but I'm not that great at it. So I already have one of these. Hang tight. Here it is. Yay! So then I thought, well, as long as I already made this up, I should probably have, um, make a card, right? That was a great idea. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me bring in my dimensions. Thank you guys so much for all your kind comments. I appreciate it. So that's when I came up with the gift card idea, right? I could give this to one of the boys for Christmas and, or whoever guesses it, and I could get like a gift card to Subway or something. I thought that would be really fun. So I've already got this made, right? So here comes all the rest of my elements. This is that white piece, or the, I, I'm sorry, the Poppy Parade piece that I used right behind this layer, same thing. So my white layer is the same size. It is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. The poppy is five by three and a half. And I'm just gonna glue this on here. And I can see right now, you guys, that, hang on, I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. I wanna be able to show it to you. So this is just gonna go on a card front. So this one doesn't really matter. We're gonna use glue on here. There we go. I can see right now what I was talking about is see how this lifting up right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up putting some tear and tape under there because I didn't get my glue all the way up to the edge. This one seems to be sticking fine, but this one is pulling apart a little bit. So that's what I was talking about when I'm like, ooh, I should have used tear and tape. Okay. So what did Margaret say? How do you know how many are in the jar? I do not. <laughs> Molly's going to count that when she comes over. So I don't know how many are in the jar. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Okay, so this is the card that I'm going to make to go with this extra piece that I have, and then it'll be matching to my jar of cheddar puffs. Um, I'm going to bring in my trimmer. And I thought, well, as long as I'm making a card, I might as well make a gift card holder. That's a little more useful for you guys this time of year. So this is four and a quarter by 11. I am going to score it at one inch. And five and a half inches. Oh, shoot, look at that. Err. Darn it. Urgh. Hang on. What did I say that was? Parakeet party, right? Oh, don't worry. I have another piece right here. <laughs> My ink pads are laying open over there, and that's how I did that. So that was great. Okay. One more time on the scoring. One inch. And five and a half. I'm going to get Steve to count them. Nope. <laughs> Steve will not do that. I can guarantee you that. But he found a new recipe on Pinterest. That's where he gets all his recipes from. He informed me a little like, um, how do I say that? A little arrogantly. I get all my recipes on Pinterest. He's got a new recipe and it has, um, it's Olive Garden, chicken, something. I don't know. I'm terrible. Okay. He's, he's got the chicken to thawing, or to thawing, <laughs> defrosting right now. <laughs> so we fold it in half and then this piece we're going to bring to the inside. Then I've got a basic white piece here. Oh, hang on, I'm missing a piece. I'm missing a piece somewhere. Is that real large? Yep, I don't know what happened to it, but we'll cut another one. Don't worry, probably got stuck back in here by, oh, here it is. 
look it, it was hiding right there. All right, so this is our inside white layer. We're gonna do just a tiny bit of stamping on there. This is four by five and a quarter. And we're going to bring in a one and a quarter by four inch piece of the fa la 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 paper, which is from the same pack, the Mary Bold and Bright. I'm just gonna lay that in place. And that's where our wishing you a very Merry Christmas is coming from the joy to you big sentiment set. I'm gonna bring in the um, red, the Poppy Parade. It's not red, it's Poppy Parade, but it is a red. We're gonna ink this up good, looks good. And I'm gonna put this right over here. And it's crooked. And that's why we have two sides to every piece of cardstock. I'm gonna put this back in here. And I'm gonna stand up. Yay. Okay, next up, I'm going to take my light and I am going to use green. This is the Parakeet Party. And I'm gonna put a light right there, cause that's fun. And then here's my little element. Make sure that that wasn't in a different color and I forgot to clean it. There's my element. And then we need the top with the shaded spruce. There we go. I gotta stand up for this one too, you guys. Okay, that looks great. All right, we're gonna add this to the inside. This is our one and a quarter inch piece. And I always kind of like to stand it up and push it over to that edge where it belongs while it'll still move. There we go. Okay. Hang on, I got a little heart die there that I gotta figure out where it goes. All right, this is gonna go on the inside of our card. Nobody will see this side, right? We don't need to worry about that at all. grab a hold of this a little better so I can get this in here straight. There we go. Ooh, isn't that bright? Bright and fun. All right, I'm gonna use my bone folder to get that to lay down really good. Now, I'm gonna grab this punch. This is the heartfelt hexagon punch. Oops, hang on, I almost jumped ahead of myself. We're gonna put this little piece, this is three quarters by four. And we're gonna put that on this little piece right here, this little tab that's gonna be our gift card holder. Okay, now we're gonna punch. We're just gonna center this and we're just gonna take a little sliver off of here and this is gonna be kind of our grabbing point for our gift card. Just a little bit, like that much. Yep, worked perfect. Now, you have to use tear and tape on this because paper has a memory. And when you fold over cardstock like this, if this was designer paper, you could use glue. But since it's cardstock, it has a memory and it's always going to want to pop open. So you have to make sure that you use very strong tape when you're folding over and gluing down a layer like this. Oops. This, by the way, if you're new to me, this is a take your pick tool. It is like an extension of my hand. I use it for everything. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Da, da, da. Um, Amazon, boom. Okay, now what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna put a four by four and a quarter inch piece of the light bulb DSP on here. 
This is like one of the easiest ways. Oops, hang on. Stop. <laughs> Try to get away from me. One of the easiest gift card holders to make because it's all about creating that pocket. Okay, here we go. This is the element that we made for the front of our little jar. And I'm just gonna put this right on here like this. So that was my idea. I'm gonna put some glue right here. And then just like that. You don't wanna get glue way over here because it's gonna go off the side of our card. And I'm just gonna center this right in the middle. Just like that. This is kind of big for this card. I realized that, but I had it left over. I could have made another jar, but I just wanted to show you guys how to make this gift card holder. <gasps> Isn't that fun? So we've got this and this. Oh, and hang on. we need an envelope for our gift card holder. So I think what I'm gonna do there is I'm going to bring in my shaded spruce. And then we've also, besides the die, we've got this particular stamp. And I'm going to ink this up. Oh, I'm gonna do my light first. Where's my, this was in the green. I think I'm gonna do it in the red. Cause you gotta make your envelope look pretty too. Where's my flap right there? So I'm gonna do this. And then my shaded spruce. I need this little, well, let's do that element first. Thank you guys so much. Do that little element, yay. Then we've got our end. And then we're going to do this. And I'm gonna bring this in here and I'm gonna stamp it just like that. Isn't that fun? So now we have our envelope and our card. Let me get these closed before we have a major disaster. We've all been there, right? <laughs> when you drop your card in the ink and you're just done with it and you're admiring it and play up. Um, there we go. And I put the same discs on it. Here is our how many are in the jar along with a fun little gift card holder. Now, when I'm designing, I explained that I made this extra element so I would know what I was doing, right? So I had an extra one. Well, I did the same thing with this card base. I wanted to put it all together and see what it would look like. So I had an extra card base. And I thought, well, I might as well finish that up and then I'll show you where all the other little pieces came from. I made some mystery stamping cards for our team meeting last month and I had this little element that was gonna go on the front or inside of a card. So this was the element, just this piece right here. So I took it and I cut it three by three mounted it on a three and a quarter by three and a quarter poppy parade. And then I stamped these in the same shaded spruce, just like I did here and cut them out and put them on this element. And I used the green discs. So this is the same exact card. I just had this piece from something else that I made. So <laughs> I used that to finish up this card base, right? And my husband always comes at me at the end, like when we're getting really close to Christmas and says, okay, I need gift card holders. So I always make sure that I am ready for him. The kids will also come to me and say, do you have a gift card holder? Yep, I got them. I got lots of gift card holders. So there you go. So this is the bigger one, which uses the label on here. Here's a smaller one just from an element because I had a card base left after I figured all this out and wanted to make sure I used it, right? So fun. Okay. Thank you guys so much. You are so sweet. Oh my gosh, Green Bay, 14 to 6. Holy cow. Okay, next up, I've got one more project to share with you tonight. Even though the Packers are playing, I was not going to short you. <laughs> right? 
on it. I need to make some really cool stuff. So what I'm going to bring out now, oh, let me get this all put away. See if I can put these, put these, whoops, ah, put these back in here. Oh, I know. I wanted to show you those mystery cards too that we did for the team meeting because that was really fun. Oh, I can't do that. You got to be careful about these stamps that you don't push them into anything because they will, they will not go back. Like you can wreck them if you don't put them away or store them properly. So I am going to get this right back in here because this little block didn't fit in there right, right? Okay, let me move this out of the way. Here are the mystery cards that I made for my team meeting. And I wanna show you where those are coming from you guys remember, I have this big little basket of all these goodies that I've made recently for you guys. Here are the little sour cream containers. Remember this card? This card was created because I first made these cards. Let me show you what I mean. This is the exact same fold. I've got a little um, gift card holder inside of here. Okay, because our theme was gift card holders, but we were doing mystery stamping, so I combined the two. This was the mystery card, and I put a gift card holder in it. So this is the exact same card as this. Very different, right? Like, the paper and the stamps and the dies just make it so crazy different. This one also just stamps those bulbs on here versus die cutting them. And this is the exact same card, again, with a little pocket for gift card holder. Love this. That happens to be a die set that we have that does a little gift card holder like that. But same exact card as this one, right? Isn't that cool? Yay! So um, that's where I got that from. Let me put this back. I gotta keep all this stuff where I know where it is and what's happening with it, cause well, you guys understand, right? <laughs> okay, next up. We are going to be, where's my, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my best remedy kit class. And I've got a really cute card that I made that I am going to share with you using the kit elements, the stamp set basically, and tell you what this is all about. So let me get out all the little goodies here that I'm going to be using. This is one of our kits that Stampin' Up! puts out. So in this kit... This is called Best Remedy. In this kit, you get a complete instruction sheet, okay? These are the cards in the kit. You make three of each, so you get nine cards in the kit. But also in the kit is an adorable, let me see if I can, let me find a piece of white. Adorable stamp set. You get this whole stamp set in this kit, and that's what I'm going to draw or use to make my monthly kit, is I'm going to make some additional cards using the stamp set to give you, it gives it so much more value, right? When you have extra ideas. In this particular kit, you also get a block. This is for like this, these are perfect gifts because it even comes with a block. You get dimensionals, you also get embellishments. And there's another flower in here, it's stuck to my block right there. You get embellishments with the kit. And all of the things that you need, you get a Starry Sky ink spot, you get glue dots, you get, let me get these out of here, card bases. These are all scored for you. They're colored on one side, solid on another. Look at this one, even has a print. You get all of these die cut elements to make the cards. Here's another card base more card bases. Here's some more die cut elements. These just pop right out of here. You get these die cut elements. So we have a mouse and a bird to go with the little skunk. That's part of the stamp set. Here's some more elements, little labels to stamp on. Here's some embossed elements that go along with making these cards. And then you get nine printed envelopes. 
else. So when I just, this is something new for me. I've never done this before, but I am going to add to this kit. So you're gonna get all of the things that you see here in the kit, all the cards, the stamp set, the glue dots, the ink spot, all of these embellishments with the block. To this kit, I am adding a half a pack of the new In Color Pearls, a full pack of the In Color Baker's Twine, so you get all of these. I'm gonna add three additional designs to the three that are here. So you're gonna make nine cards here, you're gonna make three more cards for a total of 12 cards in this kit. I will have video links for the cards. I will have written instructions for the cards um, and uh, dimensions for those three additional cards. Plus, you're going to get envelopes to go with those also. So 12 cards in this kit, all of the goodies that I've just shared with you. And now I'm going to share with you another card. So you're going to have another card idea with the kit stamp set on top of what's going to be included in there. All right, so we are going to be using a basic white thick card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored this at four and a quarter with our thick basic white cardstock, which I do recommend you use for card bases. You always want to score it. It's a little thicker than regular basic white cardstock, which makes it great for a base. It doesn't feel flimsy when you use it as a base. And because it's thicker, it needs to be scored. I've got a basic white envelope here that we're going to decorate. I've got a basic white scrap. We're going to be using Tahitian Tide, and this layer is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. I've got a basic white layer that is three and a half by four and three quarters. And again, all of these dimensions are going to be found on my website, www.astampabove.com, about an hour after we're finished. I have to take photos and get everything in there. So... Oh, and the basic white scrap. Okay, where did my, here's my piercing mat. Let me bring this back in here. Um, we are going to take this scrap. We're also gonna be using some blends. Hang on, let me get those in here and I'll explain which colors they are, as well as the pearls and the baker's twine. So I've got all my little stamps from the stamp set that you get in this kit mounted. This is like a super good price because it includes a stamp set. <laughs> like that's crazy. I'm gonna take my Memento ink pad and the little, the little skunk. Gosh, words are hard tonight. Yeah, Aubrey says kits are the bomb. They are so much fun. And you know what I like about them, Aubrey? I like the challenge of creating more designs with the stamp sets that come in a kit because that just makes them so much more worth so much more to have additional ideas. There's my little skunk. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna color this little bugger in. And I've got dark smoky slate. Remind me and I will show you what, the first, the first skunk that I did, I used, we have black Stampin' Blend markers. We have a light, basic black and a dark basic black. So I thought the light basic black would work really good for this. I was wrong. You remind me and I'll show you what that looked like after we get this done, because it was not attractive. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna color my little skunk guy here. And how many of you have your Christmas tree up already? I don't even have my Christmas lights up yet, but I did hang a couple things on the wall in the house. And I have a wreath. I got a new wreath because our wreath got burned up. So I got a new wreath at Kirkland's. You guys have Kirkland's where you live? I love Kirkland's. They're kind of expensive, but sometimes I can go there after a holiday, like at Halloween, they had these boards for like $70 that say, you know, like boo. And then, you know, the giant board, it's just a board that's got some stuff on it. I went there 
And I got this like $70 board for 20 bucks. And I bought one for me and one for Stephanie as a housewarming. I thought that was pretty brilliant. That doesn't happen to me often. <laughs> Okay, on the eyes, I'm going to leave the eyes white. So I just did that. You see what I did there? So you've got all that white in those eyes. This little skunk is so stinking adorable. Pun intended. <laughs> and of course, in the kit is pictures of the cards that are made. And of course, the elements that are in there. The little bird, the mouse, and the skunk are already colored for you they're just laser cut and that makes it so that people who don't have all these fun stamping tools can still make the cards in the kit like they don't have blends right so that's why it makes such a nice gift now these are all kind of like get well or thinking of you cards which I think this time of year I tend to make more of those because winter people tend to get sick more often and I just Oh, I almost colored right over his eyeball. I really like how I did kind of. There's a little bit of white in there. Be careful on the eyeballs. I really like having these on hand so that when somebody's sick, I can pop them off. Um, a get well card right away. Because, you know, think about it. If they got a cold or something, I want them to get my get well card while they're still feeling kind of crummy, not when they're all better. <laughs> it's kind of mean, isn't it? It's the way I feel about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not going back on that. You get my get well card, you better still be sick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I sent my mom a card when she was sick, and she was sick for a long time, so she got it while I was she was still sick. <laughs> I didn't want her to be sick longer just so my card would have more meaning to her. <laughs> she would laugh at that, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to get back over to my mom's house before Christmas and take her out Christmas shopping, do some festive Christmassy shopping type things, right? I don't know if that'll happen, but I really need to make stuff like that happen. Like no matter what, I need to do stuff like that. Okay, so isn't he cute? So stinking adorable. <gasps> Who's doing, Audrey's doing, Audrey's doing a, a Grinch tree. That sounds really fun. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Darn it. This is dangerous now. I want this little plant in his hands. So we're going to possibly screw this whole thing up right now. <laughs> thing I found about the plant is you want to make it go up high enough that it's filling in that little... Oh, look, I did pretty good. I did good with the flowers. I just put that little plant in his hands. Okay, so now we're going to color in the little plant. So I've got light copper clay. This was... Um, light smoky slate, right? Where's my other smoky slate? You guys see it here? I don't know what I did with it. Oh, maybe I never had it over here. Let me make sure. This is dark smoky slate. Sorry, it's not the light one. It's the dark one. This one is light copper clay, which is perfect for a pot. A little terracotta pot there. Then... I'm going to do the light Tahitian Tide, and I'm just gonna color in this little flower in the background. Um, I have Lemon Lolly Dark. That's gonna be this flower right here. Hmm. And then I think I'm gonna do red. I'm still going with the red. This is Light Sweet Sorbet. There we go. And then I've got Light Parakeet Party. Polly says she loves this kit too. I do too because it's really fun. And I'm going to have a lot of fun making little skunky cards. Then I've got Light Bubble Bath. And that's what I'm going to do to the little skunk's little feet and his little ears. Yay. Okay. Now, this is where we're going to cut them out. Oops, I got things falling. And again, I just like to leave a little bit of white around the outside of elements that I'm cutting out. And you can get really detailed with this, 
but I'm telling you right now that you do not have to. You could do all these little crooks in his fur and all of that. And if you want to, you go for it. But I'm just gonna go nicely around the outside. He's going onto a white layer, so that's why you don't notice this margin as much, whether you do it real detailed or not. And I love that option. Gosh, I'm getting hungry again. I think I will have some more venison when I get done. I didn't get to go out for fish Friday night because the babies were sick, so. <laughs> I had on my fish fry shirt, which I wore Thursday too because I thought it was Friday. Did you guys see that on Facebook? I shared it in my story all day long. I had my fish fry shirt on. I was going to get a hold of Haley and Jared, Anna, whoever, and see if they want to go out for fish. And about, I don't know, 6 o'clock Thursday afternoon or so. I don't remember when it was. <laughs> Somebody said it was Thursday. And I'm like, what? I have on my Friday shirt. <laughs> so I wore it on Friday also. Okay, now, where is my... Oh, here's my card. I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, now we're going to take this layer. This layer layers onto this layer. And remember, this white layer was four and three quarters by three and a half. And what we're going to do here, I did this for my technique, um, my online technique club one time, where you use the stamp, whether it's a sentiment or other images, to make your background. And I just think that's such a cool technique. So I'm going to use Smoky Slate Ink. And I, hang on, I gotta hold on to this. I am going to stamp my little skunk right there with Smoky Slate. And I'm gonna stamp him again right there. And then I'm gonna come up here and it's gonna look like this was just a whole page of little skunks. <laughs> and I just want it to look like it's kind of like the background. You don't want to get it too busy, so I'm not putting them super close together. Just like this. So this is our this is our layer. Isn't that fun? Thank you, Kathy. Then I am going to. Oh, I had some little strips. Oh, here's my little strips. Hang on, I still got them. I have a little strip here. Little strips. This is a half inch strip of Tahitian Tide. This is three eighths inch basic white strips. And I am going to take that Tahitian Tide ink. And now the sentiments in this set. Let me share them with you. This one says, oh, let me look on here. <laughs> a little birdie told me you were under the weather. Sorry, life stinks sometimes. Feel better soon. I'm here for you. Well, that stinks. Even though this stinks, ice cream is the best remedy for this. So you've got a little bucket of ice cream, a flower pot, a hot water thing to put on your head, and an ice cream cone. Okay, so that's all the stamps that are in this fun little set here. And I just realized that I did my envelope upside down. So that's funny because I thought this was a chef's hat. Where did it go? Mm, this. I thought this was a chef's hat. But it's actually a hot water bottle. <laughs> so I'll show you my envelope and we'll all laugh together. All right. So Tahitian Tide. I'm going to use Well That Stinks. And I'm going to stamp that right on this little piece of white. Well, that wasn't very good. Let me try that again. I still don't like it. <laughs> I need to get it up a little higher. That looks better. Okay, so I've got, well, that stinks. And then I'm going to just trim this. And we are going to add this. This was 3 8 inch wide however long your sentiment is. Oh, that's not right. What happened? Oh, this isn't right. Hang on. Is this the same width? It is. Hmm. Hang on a second. I did something wrong here. 
Oh, this is still half inch. I cut this the same size. So, I just threw that on the floor. <laughs> Let me grab a piece of white here. We'll make a new one. Oh, perfect. Practice makes perfect, right? So this needs to be 3 8 inch, and those pieces were half inch. Whoops, I just scored it. That's not what I wanted to do. So... Let's see how well I can do. Let's see if I'm practiced up enough. This is going to work out good. <laughs> Just make sure I get good ink on here. Ah, look at that. It's like a professional, right? <laughs> okay. I'm going to trim that. Then we're going to put it on here. Oh, I got a hair in there. This is half inch. And then we'll just cut that right off. Yay. Okay. Here comes our card, you guys. There we go. Here comes our little skunk. One more right there. I gotta go back through and read. Who's got their Christmas trees up? I like to see all these overachievers. <laughs> We're gonna put this right over this little skunk that's right here. Okay, cute, right? This is gonna go right in here. So I'm gonna take some of my mini dimensionals, if I can find them. Where did they go? Here they are. I always say I'm gonna put them right back up there because I always lose them. I'm gonna put dimensionals way on the very outside edge of this and hope they don't get in the way, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Outside edge on the bottom. Here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right down here to help hold that in place. And we're gonna just, just put this right up here against our little skunk. Trying to center it. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Yay! Super cute. Then, how about some of this twine that comes with the kit? I love twine. It's like one of my favorite types of ribbon or whatever you want to call it. You want to call it twine, ribbon, whatever. It's twine. But I really do love it. Because I think it adds a lot without being too much. That even makes sense. I think you guys know what I mean. Okay, so I've got my bow jig here. If anybody wants any a bow jig, they're ten dollars. That includes shipping, the whole deal. It's just ten dollars. All you have to do is email me, and I will send you an invoice. And you can pay the invoice with your debit credit card. You don't have to have a PayPal account to do it. But you just email me and say, Kelly, I would like a bow jig. And I will invoice you. Make sure that your address is the same on your PayPal account because that's where I ship it to. Okay, little glue dot right in there. We're going to just kind of push this in underneath the, th the very corner of this little label. <gasps> Look how cute that is. That's so cute. Okay, and then our white card base is here someplace. Now we, we're going to stamp on here. So we're not going to glue anything together till we get this all figured out because um, I also use, you guys, these dies. These are the Radiating Stitches dies. I use this little heart right here. These are so fun. I think they might be on back order right now, but I know a lot of you have them. I'm gonna use this on a piece of Tahitian Tide, okay? And that gives me a little heart just like that. 
Now we're gonna do our inside and that's where we're gonna stamp feel better soon. Oops, and I'm gonna use black. Let me get this closed up. Marcy, you don't have a PayPal account. I just said that you just pay with your debit or credit card. You don't need a PayPal account, but I can invoice you through PayPal and you can pay with your debit or credit card. Okay, there's feel better soon. Let me get this out of here. That turned out straight and I stamped it complete. So we don't wanna get ink on it at this point. Let me wipe my hands on my pants. <laughs> Like a whole thing. All right. Uh, glue, come on. There we go. Glue is coming out. I'm going to put this right here. Just a little element on the inside of the card that I thought would be really cute. And now we can put this right on the front. This is going to go right here. Oh my gosh, so cute. What do you guys think? Ah! And we need some pearls. And we just happen to have some Tahitian Tide colored pearls, so I think those will work perfectly, right? <laughs> Hang on, I got things falling all over the place here. There and there. We'll throw one right over here. Oh, good grief, is that stinking adorable. Okay, so there's the inside. We still need to do something with our envelope. So here's what I'm gonna do with the envelope. I am going to take that, sorry, life stinks sometimes, because if you're sick, life is stinking a little bit, right? And I'm going to stamp that right on the envelope. And in a moment, I'll show you my funny little thing that I did with the hot water bottle. <laughs> because I kept thinking it was a chef hat, but I, then I realized it was a hot water bottle and I still did it backwards. So we're gonna do that in Tahitian. Whoa! See, that's how that's how disasters happen. And we're gonna go just like this. Little hot water bottle. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, let me show you my other one. <laughs> it's a chef's hat. <laughs> that's funny. I'm gonna leave it that way too. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so. I made, let me get this stuff out of the way so I can show you the rest of this stuff. Gosh, we just have the best time here, don't we? <laughs> Arr, watch Kelly clear her desk. There we go. Okay, I made um, the sweet sorbet. Look it, that's the same, oh, where'd my other card go? Right here. That's the same card, just a different color. You can make a whole set of these with all the different colors. You get a whole pack of this twine with my kit. And my kit includes the Stampin' Up! kit plus the extras, pre-cut cardstock. Get this and this and the whole darn stinking little adorable kit. Yeah, right? All of this with this. So if you would like to get that kit, you can just go look at all the details. You want to just check it out, whatever. You're going to find it on my blog. Here's my blog address. This is my monthly host code. Or, yeah, maybe you just want to order the kit. You can go find that in my online store. It's called Best Remedy. Here it is right here. Nine cards with the kit, three more with me, plus the pearls and the baker's twine and the additional ideas. And I do put links to the extra cards that I make in with the PDF file so it's easier for you to find also. Okay, you guys, we've got some mail to share. It's not a huge, overwhelming amount of mail. So who's ready for some fun mail? When can you order this? You can order it right now. You can order this kit, it's on my blog. You're just gonna go to www.stampofbub.com or right below this video. Remember how I showed you that right here under this video it says more and when you click on more it has a paragraph over here and you click on more again and there's a link right to the Best Remedy Kit Class link. You click on that and you can register for this kit class. 
I will be mailing these out. What did I say? I said December 17th, so that'll be fun. Um, let me show you my mail. So let me put these aside. Here comes, oh, look at this. This is the same paper we used tonight, you guys. This is, whoops, this is from Andy Aquisto. She's on my team. Look at how fun this is. Ah, love it. I sent her a card that was made with this fun fold. So she said she had to give it a try and is sending me um, a card thanking me for the um, door prize that she won. Yay. Very pretty, Anne. I love your card. Brooke, who's in Cancun right now, that lucky devil, she sent me this beautiful card because she also won a prize from the team meeting. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. I love it. Thank you, Brooke. Then Jamie Lindsay sent me this beauty. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, this is a set of dies in our mini catalog right now. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of people miss this. Yeah, Christmas card. Beautiful, right? Jamie, thank you so much. Then we've got Amy Peacock. Yay, Amy. Look at how cute this is. Oh, thank you. This uses the new B set that's in the mini catalog coming out in January. And she won a prize at the team meeting too. So, yay. So cute. I can't wait to start using this. Maybe we should make one of these, right? Oh, so fun. I love this. I did make one of these once before. Very, very cute, Amy. Thank you so much. She's one of my newest members of my team. Then we have Suzanne Scott, another member. Look at how pretty this is. Ah, oh, this uses all kinds of strips of embossed designer paper. So pretty. And she got happy mail for the November team meeting also. Lots and lots of fun there. Now, I want to let you guys know, starting on December 5th, which is next Tuesday, we have pre-order Stampin' Up! demonstrators all around the world. We get to pre-order and pre-earn. So, what does that mean? That means this brand new mini catalog, we get to pre-order out of this on December 5th. We also will be earning celebration items for each $50 that we spend as demonstrators or discount shoppers, we also get to earn celebration products. I can't show you the inside of these catalogs until they go live on January 5th. But we always get to pre-order a month in advance. What does that mean? Well, that means that we get to get our stuff so we can start creating and designing for the rollout in January of new product. But it also means that we get first jab at all these new items and that's a really wonderful benefit especially in um, a time where we're seeing more and more stuff that sells out really fast that goes on back order being a discount shopper with stampin up is the same as being a, de a, a demonstrator there's no difference between the two we all get the same benefits and that includes pre-ordering a month in advance from new publications. So I highly encourage you to join my team. It is a fabulous place to be. It's fun to be part of something bigger. And you also will get to pre-order on December 5th. The fun thing is, is that you can add products from this new mini catalog to your original starter kit. It is completely customizable. You get to choose $125 in any product from any of our catalogs, not celebration. This has no price. It's free stuff. You have to earn this. But you can choose your items from the new mini catalog on starting on December 5th if you would like to join my team or if you'd like to rejoin my team. If you once were a member but you're not anymore, this is a great time to get your hands on all of this stuff. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm always happy to help. And um, if you're not getting a discount on your product, you really should be because so much fun comes with that. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. This is December 5th. And again, this is my host code. If you place an order with me, I always appreciate those orders. That's what keeps me in business and keeps these free videos coming your way. And it pays my bills.
Always appreciate, give me a like, give me a share on this video that is so helpful in helping me grow my business. And uh, if I missed any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. It's kind of hard to stamp and talk and think and read questions and read comments. I try to keep up as much as I can. Did I say it was a different date? It's December 3rd. What did I say? Did I say it's the 5th? I don't know what I said. It's December 3rd. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. I'm not sure what I said. So all of the projects that I made tonight will show up on my blog probably in about an hour. I've got most of it typed up. I just have to take a few more pictures. I said it was the 5th. It's only the 3rd. On Tuesday the 5th, pre-order starts. So, thanks you guys. It was really fun having you here tonight. I'm so glad that you got to come and spend some time with me. And I need to go out and check and see what that Packer game is doing. See what the Taylor Swift crazy is happening right now. Because I know Andy will be, like I said, peeing her pants. <laughs> If you missed the first part of this video, go back because oh, my granddaughter's at the game and Taylor Swift is there and oh my good Lord, <laughs> nothing greater has ever happened in her life. <laughs> All right, you guys have yourselves a great week. I'll be back on December 10th at 7 p.m. Central Time. If you have any requests for what you'd like to see me make, let me know. Pop me an email. Um, I always love to take suggestions. Sometimes Sometimes they're really helpful if I'm, you know, in need of an idea. I will always take suggestions for uh, something that I should make. So I do have a card portfolio that holds cards that I'm thinking about doing next week. What do you guys think about that? I think that would be really fun. It's a great gift idea. That's kind of what I'm into right now is making gifts. I should have been doing this a month ago, but you know how I operate. <laughs> I'm never getting too far ahead of things. Um, so I am I am making gifts and sharing those with everybody. So maybe you'll have time to make gifts too. All right. Lori says, Packers are winning. Woohoo! Luann says, 614 pack. That should be 14-6 Packers. Right, Luann? Yes, I think that's right. You always say your team first or the, yeah. Your team first. The winning team goes first. <laughs> All right, you guys, have yourselves a great night. Thanks again. I really appreciate you. Stay warm if you're in a cold climate. Stay cool if you're in a warm climate. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye, everybody.